Chadzakis and you know when we think about podcasting we we all want to live in a better place in a world where people are happy and full of love for each other accepting and growing together and podcasting is a great way for us to be able to do that because we can reach so many people so I'm a law of attraction business coach and I help women create businesses of impact using law of attraction and I incorporate this into my podcasting which I've been a podcaster for just over 12 months now. I had my first birthday last month at the end of June. So I was so excited about that. So podcasting, it reaches people worldwide. It lets you show your skills, as you've been talking about, Rob, um, teaching people and educating them. And it's also about really uplifting them and making, as far as I believe, a big impact. So making a ripple effect in the world. If we can impact just one person at a time, if one person's listening, the ripple effect from what that person goes away with is just huge in the world. And that's what's really important to me, I guess, through my law of attraction coaching, um, but also seeing people change and knowing that we're all in the world together to make a different place. So different styles of podcasting. So my style, for example, I have interviews and I do solo and I also do some meditation on my podcasting. So there's lots of different varieties that people can do to create an impact um, on their listeners and on the world. And as you were touching on there, Rob, about how people listen to podcasts. So, you know, they it used to be just in a set way but people have got so much freedom nowadays. So, you know, people take you on walks with them and then when you're exercising or cooking or on the commute to work, it's, you know, part of the car university. So they just plug into you and they learn something on that 20, 30 minute drive to work, which is great. And that can also dictate, for example, how long your episodes are. If you know that your, Mm -hmm. your listeners are doing something like that, then it's important to try and keep it to that time frame so they can listen to the whole episode. So people do want to learn. And I think that's one of the great things about podcasting. It's not just listening to music. It's not just passing time and listening to the radio. People are tuning in for something specific. And that's why they choose your show, because they've what they're going to walk away with. It's content that is obviously primarily audio. And that makes it really easy to consume, as you said about you know, when you're exercising or commuting or something like that, people can just tune in and listen. So if you want to make a big impact in your podcast, first of all, think about what what do you take away from the podcast that you're listening to? What makes you hit subscribe on that button and keeps bringing you back to the podcast that you like? You know, when I started my podcast, I never had, I'd never listened to a podcast ever. Um, I knew what they were, but I didn't really know very much about them. And now I'd listen to them all the time because I just realized what a bank of knowledge they are. And even though there's some people that have great content, for me, it's also important to walk away with how that person makes me feel as well. So some of the most successful podcasts that that people follow um, improves the quality of people's lives It's not just about what they're listening to and and what's going in their brain. It gives them knowledge to educate them, but they walk away feeling differently. So they might feel more empowered or more resilient and more capable of doing things which they didn't feel before. So it's not just about the content that's in there. It's how it's presented and how people feel as well. So my podcast is Happy Inspired Motivated. And that's the aim of my show, to make people happier, to motivate people to move forward and to inspire them. So I interview, for example, business owners who who are very successful in their fields, but who have been through something and they overcame all their obstacles and they created immense results through that. So I'm aiming for entrepreneurs who are starting businesses and to get them to be motivated to keep going and not give up. 
So when I released, I had like four episodes ready to go at the same time. So I wanted to make a bigger impact straight away and and find more people straight out of the gate. And I went straight into number 24 in the charts in the UK, which I was really happy about. And then I went to the top 10% globally and then the top 5%. And I feel really blessed that I have reached people worldwide. And people that are listening here, their podcasts have got the exact same reach or they can have the exact same reach and they can make a difference to people all over the world. So apart from um, knowledge that you might impart on your listener through your podcast, telling them what they need to do, it's also really important to have a greater impact to show them how to do it as well. So not just leaving them hanging and saying, oh, you need to do this to improve your well-being or your health or your business, but give them insights in how to do it because otherwise you're just going to leave them feeling empty at the end and they want to walk away with something they can implement to improve their lives. So how does your podcast make people feel? How do podcasts make people feel generally? You know, people come back if they feel good and they want to listen to people and be around people who make them feel good, who make them feel better than they did before. I always like to say that always leave people in a better place or a better state than when you found them. Don't make people go away feeling sadder and more frustrated. Make them happier. Because feelings expand the world and they bring growth to you and your business and also to your podcast. The happier you make people feel, the more they want to listen. You know, what makes you motivated to do something? Um, To make money, it's to be abundant. To create a business, it could be achievement. To get in shape, your health. Mm. And it all... It's all about how these things make you feel. It's not the actual outcome of something. It's the feeling that you get from having achieved it or having done it. So we we look for reasons to feel good all the time. Um, You know, and the law of attraction incorporates that. So what you feel is what you're searching for and what you attract into your life. So I don't know. I know law of attraction is a little bit different to podcasting. but it has the same energy about it. So if your vibrational energy in your body is high and energetic and happy, that's going to come across on your podcast. People are going to feel that when they're listening to it and it's going to make an impact on them. So, you know, if they know that when they tune into your podcast, they're going to feel better they're gonna if they were sad before or angry or frustrated they're gonna come away from your show feeling so much better and that's gonna keep drawing them back and you know that you're making a difference in their lives so of course you have to give great quality um and great quant- great content but all of that combined has to relate to the energies as well so you know you're going into people's homes you're going into people's ear pods or ear whatever they're called (laughs) into people's cars and they're allowing you into their space you have to respect that space and make sure that you do the best that you can and make their space better than it was before so it doesn't matter what your podcast is about um you have you can incorporate ways to uplift people no matter what you're talking about you're creating well-being for people, you're giving them knowledge, you're giving them inspiration. You want to make sure that people smile when they're listening to you, <clears throat> perhaps even laugh, join in with you. Mm-hmm. And that makes them have a different view on reality because they feel more inspired to go out into the world and do mm-hmm. things. It gives them more hope. You can share self-development and improvements and um, show people how to grow in their business or in their lives. And you give them faith to keep going and give them inspiration to keep going and a new perspective that maybe you're surprising them with something new that they've never heard before. Your episodes need to make people think and thoughts are a vibrational frequency. So 
if they're thinking good thoughts, they're putting out good vibrations into the world. And you're creating, or you're part of the creation of that good energy or negative energy. And what one person believes and thinks affects us all because, as I said, that energy goes out into the universe and it touches every single one of us. So infusing your podcast with good energy, people are going to get that energy through their speakers. And apart from your content, you can get yourself into a good high vibrational energetic state before you start, which means that you sound happier, you enjoy giving your content more, people enjoy listening to you more, you make them smile, you make them happy, and you're impacting them not just with your knowledge and your words, but also with the energy that you are giving to your podcast. You know, your your podcast has a power to make a difference in people's lives all over the world and impact them. And it's our job to do them. So when someone leaves your podcast, you should have raised their energy and made them feel great. And that will make them treat other people with that great energy that you've just given them. So, you know, a few tips if you're just starting out in podcasting, for example. You can start your podcasts, first of all, with a belief that thousands of people are listening straight away. You don't have to imagine that it's a small group. Put 110% of your energy and your effort into the podcast and make them feel natural. People know when you're reading the script. Um, If you're stood there and you're just reading off something, people can understand that it feels more stagnant and they don't feel as they don't feel that they're in a conversation, which people do like about podcasts. Value your listeners because they are the most important part of it. If it's not for your listeners, you don't have a following and you don't have a podcast and you're just talking to yourself in an empty room. Mm -hmm. And it's um, pretty lonely (laughs) when you're doing a a video or an audio and and nobody's going to listen to it. So it's really important to think about your your listener and what they're going to get from this, how they are going to benefit, not just you getting your word out. What are they going to get from it? Think about them on that level. You know, if a plumber came to my house to fix my shower, I don't care about what he's what tools he's using or her she's using, whichever. I just want to know the shower's going to be fixed. That's my benefit from that interaction. So think about what your end benefit is for your podcast listener show up consistently then they know that you're going to be there every Tuesday for example every Wednesday whatever day you're releasing your podcast they can come to rely on you for that shot of inspiration that shot of good energy every single week because if they tune in you're not there they're going to think you've left and that's that's disappointing we don't want to do that You know, you can bring light and joy into somebody's life through your podcast. Give them hope and impact them. And I don't see podcasting as just like a load of episodes. I I record as though I'm talking to one person and I'm making an impact on that one person. Because if I if I impact her, for example, I know that her all her friends and family will be impacted from that too. And that's something that I aim to do with my episodes. I think of that person as a friend. So my episodes are friendly. They're, we have fun, especially if I'm talking to somebody and I'm interviewing them. It's just like having a coffee with me, but you can't see me. And that's my aim for people to walk away and be happy from that. I want to make an impact on people and I want to be impacted when I listen to podcasts. So the ones that I choose are the ones that make me smile, make me laugh and teach me something. And I can walk away feeling better than when I started listening. And I think that's so important for everybody's podcast. So think about how you're going to impact the world through your podcast, whether you've started one or you're going to start one. What do you want your listeners to walk away with at the end of it? Is it knowledge? Is it insight? Is it instructions on how to do something? Is it just a chat? Is it humorous? And try and make sure that whatever style you're going for, that you incorporate some kind of 
inspiration or uplift them and that can be through your voice it can be through your energy that you put into your podcast and it could be through the interaction that you get from that as well so just leaving you with a thought of what are you going to do to make your podcast have a huge impact on the world because literally anybody in the world can be listening to your podcast people it surprises me when I see which charts I'm in I'm like how did I even get into that country but it's amazing that somebody's listening to me in a different country that I've never met. And I couldn't have had an impact on her or him if it hadn't been for my podcast. And that's really important to me. So I'm Tara Chatzakis and you can connect with me on Instagram, Tara Chatzakis, or my website is the same name. And my email is tara at tarachatzakis.com. Well, thank you, Tara. That was, that was great. That's a great summary of you know i i think the more um less spoken aspects of podcasting that uh i think are really important for especially new podcasters to fully comprehend and and certainly existing podcasters can can certainly take some lessons from that too about the personal connection that podcasters create and you really are creating friends is what you're creating with your podcast and that's you know, the analogy that I like to, to show with that too is, is, you know, how would you treat a, a friend of yours that you met for coffee? Um, you know, in a lot of ways, that's, that's the type of interaction that you have with podcast li- listeners. I know that a lot of larger media companies or larger entities tend to think of, um, their audiences like uh, of avatars, you know, so you're, you're creating content that's, that's trying to cater to a specific type of listener out there in a very strategic and calculated yeah. way. Uh, but there is this other side of podcasting that is not that, um, which is more getting to the heart. It's getting to, you know, trying to uh, reach people at a deeper level. Um, and, and I think that's one of the, the um, opportunities of podcasting, but is also, it can span that spectrum too. I mean, larger companies can create podcasts that feel like that they're heart filled, but really at yeah. the end of the day, they're kind of manufactured heart filled. <laughs> and, yeah, they can be, can't right. they? But I think there's a lot of people that are starting their, well, a lot of people do their own podcast independently, for example, like me, and and they have a message that they want to share with people right. and they want to make an impact, which is, which is why I, st- I started the podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's, you know, it's so important for me to, to show up and, and keep giving that message because it may be that if I didn't show up one day and somebody really needed to hear something that would, would make a change to them and I wasn't mm-hmm. there, I'm not serving the people that are listening if I don't show up and I don't do that. Right. There certainly has been many podcasts and I think you're, you're sharing a perfect example that have had um, interpersonal impact on people's lives that um, many in the podcasting space haven't ever uh, experienced or, or seen impactful. I think the, 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 the very early example of this was the, the comedians back in the 2008 timeframe when they entered the podcasting space. They're, they're, they're oftentimes very troubled individuals um, that they travel around, you know, trying to make people laugh. But, but in a lot of ways, um, some of that comedy is kind of dark. Um, so it, and, and it can be kind of culturally at the cutting edge. And what they found, uh, these comedians doing podcasting, is that they were sharing their personal struggles um, and what they were dealing with around alcohol addiction or drug addiction or health problems that they were struggling through um, and, and sharing their process of getting through it. And that yeah. reached people that were having similar experiences in their lives, mm-hmm. right? So they had yeah. a person that they could listen to that was going through the same thing that they were going through. And I think there's a lot of lessons to be taken from um, that type of, you know, I talked to so many comedians that came out saying they just, um, they were blown away because they would go to their events and people would come up to them and want to, they'd start crying and they'd want to hug them and they'd want to be there for them. And it was just like, they just, you know, it was such a, an important thing for them too, as a yeah. podcaster to have those kind of people share that kind of impact that they had on their lives. And it was like, it was like, 
there's been a whole video documentary done in the podcasting space. I don't think many people have seen that kind of shares that pers- mm-hmm. deep interpersonal connection that can happen in podcasting. I mean, it's such a powerful medium. It I agree is. with you, you 100%. Li- if you listen to somebody every single week, you look forward to hearing their voice. And yep. it is like being with a friend, even though obviously it's all my conversation, but you're mm-hmm. still tuning into somebody that you, you think you know. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, you do, you build a relationship with that person. So that, and that's mm-hmm. a, a great responsibility on a podcaster to it not is. let that person down. Right. Right. And it's also is therapeutic for the podcaster too, to know that yeah. they're having, having an impact like that. And um, as they grow their podcast, w- one thing that they'll experience, just like what I shared with the comedians is that people will come up to you. And, and especially when you start getting out and going to, to real world podcasting events again, um, people will come up to you and they're listeners of your show and you don't know them, but they know everything about you, especially <laughs> oh, if <dear>. you've <laughs> shared. Yeah. I mean, especially if you've shared a lot of personal information about yourself, mm-hmm. um, some people are really cautious about doing that. And in some, you know, some people get kind of shamed for doing that, um, mm-hmm. for sharing too much of themselves. And it's like, you know, you got to get to the point, right? I mean, you have to share, get, get that value. Well, what, what a lot of people don't factor is the value is the interpersonal relationships. It's not, it's not necessarily just about giving the facts, you know? No, you have, I mean, people give showing your vulnerabilities is great because a lot of the time when you see people or you hear people, you think that their life is perfect and, and you, right. you can easily compare yourself and say, well, I'm not that, or I'm never going to get to that. But when they open up and they show their vulnerabilities, it's, you connect even greater because you know that they're going through something that maybe you have too. And that's really important. Thank you so much, Tara. I appreciate it. I think we're at the top of the hour. So I think we need I to move on are. to our next speaker. So Thanks. thank you so much, Tara. I, I appreciate you coming in here and sharing the, the, the heartfelt, aspects of podcasting, which is so important. It's important to me too. So thank you. Thank you. Okay.